Having been in the entertainment industry since the 2000s, Zachary Levi is a performer who hardly needs an introduction. The man has been making big things happen for years, and though he was not an instant success, he kept plugging along and eventually landed roles that got him in the spotlight. He is most well known for his work as the titular hero in Shazam in the DC Exited Universe. In television, he is most notably remembered as the titular character in Chuck, as well as the recurring role of Benjamin on The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Zachary Levi. He has been told he's too Jewish for some roles. He has been told in the past that he's too Jewish to land certain roles throughout his career. Although that's not a good thing for anyone to hear, Levi isn't Jewish. His last name is his middle name, which he uses professionally. His real last name is Pew, and he's of Welsh descent. Speaking of roles he lost, Levi explained, I guess they were looking for more of a corn-fed, white boy look, my family is from Indiana. Come on, I'm like dying here. His breakout role was in Chuck. Many TV viewers were first introduced to Levi when he played the title role in the NBC spy dramedy Chuck, which premiered in 2007. The show followed an unexceptional computer whiz who's enlisted by a former college friend to work for the CIA. Though Chuck's ratings were never high, and its future was often in doubt, it amassed such a dedicated fanbase who campaigned to save the show when it was in danger of cancellation that it ultimately ran for five seasons. He scored roles in both Marvel and DC Universe. There's not a lot of actor crossover between these two powerhouse movie makers since they're direct competitors, but Levi has scored roles in both universes. He played the role of Fandral in 2013's Thor The Dark World and 2017's Thor Ragnarok, but admitted to Screen Rant that he was disappointed by how minimal the role ended up being. He said, I knew when I got cast as Fandral, I knew that the Warriors 3 could be really fun characters, if they ever developed them, they just didn't. That's not to say there weren't some moments that were shot that weren't used, ultimately, in the movie. He went on to say that he was glad Fandral was killed in Thor Ragnarok because it freed him up to take the lead role in the DC Comics adaptation Shazam. He told Thrillist, I didn't want to feel like I wasn't being grateful for the Thor role, but I wanted more, I always wanted more. We all want to be the star. You want to be the title of the movie. And now I get to be the title of the movie, and I get to have my bubblegum chewing face all over Times Square. It's so heady. It's so not normal. It's not real life. He came close to landing the role of Star-Lord and Guardians of the Galaxy. During an appearance on the Fourth Wall podcast, Levi revealed he was one of the final three actors in the running for the role of Star-Lord, which eventually went to Chris Pratt. He said, James and I knew each other, we were friends, we would have game nights at each other's homes, had a lot of mutual friends. And so he had asked me to come in and read for Star-Lord, and I did, and then that led to the next step, and then all of a sudden I was camera testing. Oh man, I wanted that role so bad, like so 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 bad. It came down to me, one other guy, and Chris Pratt, but Chris was always their favorite, and he was hesitant to take it. Though Levi couldn't secure the part, it wasn't his only chance at becoming a hero on the big screen. As it turns out, his audition left an impression on Gunn, who would reportedly later convince Shazam producer Peter Safran to give him a chance. He originally auditioned to play Freddie Freeman in Shazam. Zachary Levi may be the star of Shazam, but he originally auditioned to play a different role altogether. Shazam director David F. Sandberg revealed that Zachary Levi originally auditioned for the adult version of Freddie Freeman, but he instantly knew he'd be better suited for a larger part. Sandberg said, yeah, well it's kind of a funny story with Zach, actually, because his self-tape that he sent in was actually for adult Freddy. But when I saw his tape I was like, well, this guy is clearly Shazam. He faked a British accent to land role in Tangled. Tangled follows the story of Rapunzel, based on the brother's grim fairy tale and her desire to leave the tower she has been kept in her whole life by the manipulative mother Gothel. This desire becomes real with the arrival of Flynn Rider, a handsome thief voiced by Levi. He lent his speaking and singing voice to the role, appearing on the movie's soundtrack. On The Late Late Show with James Corden, Levi revealed that he faked a British accent while auditioning for the role. Levi, a born American, claimed the producers were only seeing British actors since the character was written as British. Only after being cast did the producers decide to make the character American, which Levi was more than capable of doing. Tangled would go on to become a hit, grossing over $500 million at the box office and receiving critical acclaim from critics and audiences alike. 
One of the songs I See the Light sung by Levi and Rapunzel voice actor Mandy Moore would go on to win a Grammy and get nominated for an Oscar. He has a Tony Award under his belt. Levi played the lead role of Georg in 2016's Broadway revival of She Loves Me opposite Laura Benanti. The production was widely praised by critics and earned Levi a Tony Award for Best Performance by an Actor in a Leading Role in a Musical for his performance. He told Theatermania, as a kid who always wanted to do what I'm doing, it feels very good and validating to feel like people think you're doing it at that high of a level. So I think more than anything what I took away was, I finally felt like I was kind of accepted a little bit in this community, and that was cool. His struggles with mental health. It's important to have conversations about mental health and to remember that it's a valid thing to go through. But most importantly, people need to know that there is help they can get and that they must not be afraid to reach out for it. Levi has been brave enough to talk about it and offer advice, but especially give hope to anyone that might be going through something similar. He explained, what you take out of therapy is what you bring into therapy and then decide to work on in therapy. Ultimately, what I took away from being there was my own life back. I didn't ultimately want to live, which led me there. I left there very much wanting to live and very much being hopeful about what my life could be after having been awakened to a lot of what my major malfunctions were and where they were rooted in my past, in my family. He was married to Missy Peregrim. Levi had a very brief marriage to actress Missy Peregrim. They were married in Hawaii in June 2014 but were separated by the December of the same year. They were officially divorced by April 2015. According to People, he said, nobody can prepare you for marriage. Marriage is a whole other animal. He also dated Caitlin Crosby from 2008 to 2010 and had a relationship with Yvette Nicole Brown. He's very spiritual. Levi was raised Christian and religion is something that he holds close to his heart, although his relationship with it has changed. He's said a few times that when he entered Hollywood at a very young age, it was difficult for him to integrate since it was a very liberal place. However, he never let go of the spirituality that came with religion, even though he changed his belief towards the church. He said, I'm very spiritual, but not particularly religious. Religion is, in my opinion, very destructive to what I believe the true heart and spirit then essence of who God is.